Hello, and it's time for part five of the Let's Play. I'm count to zero. And I'm still getting shot with arrows. Yeah. And you shot with, shot with them from off camera, too. Royal pain in the neck it is. Hmm, I must be able to get to the other side of the door and, I don't know, get some hidden items or something. Oh, well. So, to proceed, we need to go all the way back around and... smash that door with Benkei. And also, random physics object just bounces up in the air for no apparent reason. Ah, oh, these guys respond. How nice of them to just constantly respond more experience points for me. And just also to cheap shot me because I'm not good at close. Ah, well. That was cool. I'll give it that. I definitely say it's worth mentioning that when you do that leap over thing, when when you dodge an enemy or whatever, and it goes in slow motion, it is kind of cool. That's the way of indicating that you did it right. Right, so I saw a door on the outside on the other side. Let's just see if we can get in there first to get into that other section of the level. Also, archers must die. Hopefully these guys won't respawn that way when I have to go through and get the, um, and go through that uh, secret door once I open it. I don't have them shooting at me the whole time. I'm over here. So they haven't, though those guys have a melee weapon that they can pull out if you get up close. And apparently this door doesn't open in either direction. Okay. Same with that door. I do kind of wonder, if you get up close and cause the guards to drop their weapon, um, the archers, if you run away, do they magically pick it back up again? Boring minds want to know. Sadly, I can't drop down levels to go to explore the rest of the little map. Yeah, they have this little tutorial-ish thing here. You can go back and review any of, the, any of the tutorials went through thus far. Although, unfortunately, I mean, some of these are not shown in game, but some of them are. And once you get a new one of these, they are just automatically shown in here as unread, even if you actually paid attention when it was displayed the first time. I'm just going to run back, just bring back through a few of those anyway, just to kind of reference things. smash through this door and a save point. The reason I'm doing the little hop there is sometimes you, you look like you're in the save point area but you aren't actually there to trigger it even though you've still been healed up. Alright, so game save and we shall continue on to the treasure vault thing. Ah, big healing item. That's nice. 
Plus I need to hit this with Ben K. Alright, door has opened, so now I need to quickly backtrack. As if this level didn't have enough backtracking as it is. I do like that they give us a timer here so they let you know how much time you have to get to the door. As opposed to like just basing on a sound cue or something similar. Drop down here. More enemies to fight. For a little time. Ah, good. There is a chest over here. Locked in. Nice thing is when you do the Kamui here, time effectively stops for the gate. If you look when I did the Kamui um, through here, my I got a 2x multiplier on the uh, experience point gain from there. So it is worthwhile to use the Kamui a little more often. Okay, how did we just randomly get in the flaming area? And we're apparently with would straight to Ben K Ben guy even though he wasn't the guy I was using when I went through the door. And the healing item van vanished. Alright, so I didn't have a died yet here, but one of the things picked up general suspicion picked up through kind of a general suspicion is when your active character dies, it's game over. As opposed to just automatically switching over and until you get to a, a, a save point then everyone gets healed up. Alright, so I actually haven't used any of these healing items yet. I should probably do that. Yeah, it'll work. Back to Shizuka. I was hoping get a bit more reach to her. I had another ward to get through. And there's the key. The advantage of this weapon emits is it's really efficient at smashing up rooms. Where the heck did you guys respawn from? I wasn't gone that long. Another quest item. Excellent! And it stops knockback, which is good, because knockback is a pain in the butt, as I have stated repeatedly and at great length. Hmm. I can level up the dancing girl weapon. do with the rest of that XP. Hmm. Yeah, let's put that in they're living up the uh, default default weapon again. Alright, bust the seal and or ward, whatever, the Masho ward. And into the next room! Woohoo! 
More enemies from all sides. Yeah, I believe you can't be hit while you're flipping. I could be wrong. I'll probably find out when I get hit while flipping. So now that I'm dealing with this, yeah, we have the Essence of Homogene. Basically, four of those little orb things, I've spent two of them already, will heal up once, will basically boost one of your meters by one. Whether it's your um, um, Kamui Gauge or your Health Gauge. I boost the Kamui Gauge here just so I stay in the Kamui Meter for a little, a little longer. Yeah, these beams, they just drop completely at random. Well, not, not at random, they drop in specific places, but you can't predict, but they happen when you approach. You can't necessarily, like, deflect them or whatever. It's a, it is specifically designed to trigger when, you're, when it will hit you. It is just a cheap hit. Yeah. Um, as far as leveling up, as far as the Kamui modifier goes, or the XP modifier, I generally suspect I that how high it goes up is based on how much you've leveled up your weapons. You notice it's leveling up faster here for her weapon, based on what she has uh, for having increased its abilities, compared to um, Benkei, who leveled up he who hasn't had his weapon leveled up at all. And this is a very, very minor modifier. And apparently I can't jump over these flames. And I can't grapple myself over to them. It is basically an invisible wall. A very, very crappy invisible wall. So, getting off the side, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, there is no way to jump across. Another cheap shot and obnoxious archers. Yeah, more cheap shots, more obnoxious archers. This level is just hell, isn't it? Ah, save point! You know, after all this hell experience and having to deal with various stuff, I think this is a good place to wrap up this episode. So, next time, we will make our way through the rest of this hell, the treasure room, to get the paper charm, and get it out without catching it on fire. Until then, catch you next time.